Hey, what's happening, guys? We're getting towards the end of the school year here. Things are closing down, so just going to do a quick review for you today. Now, this is something I bought myself because uh, because I wanted one. Really low price. I think I paid about eight dollars from this for Amazon, and it's your basic uh, battery-powered camping lantern. The only thing I've done so far is charge it. So it comes with a uh, little S-hook style carabiner. Micro USB charging cord. Here's the lantern itself. Instruction manual. And a warranty card. Very nice. So looking at the instruction manual, which is in multiple languages, um, you can see here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but anyway, it says fold away hook, red light, flashlight, camping light, charging port, battery status, on off switch, magnetic bottom cover, magnetic bottom cover, does that mean it'll stick to something? Not that I'm aware of, let me try something else, hold on. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Press the on-off switch the first time. The camping lantern is at 5% brightness. Mm. Okay. Ah. There we go. Maybe that's 30%. That's off. 5%. Okay. There we go. 100%. That's uh, that's pretty bright. And then we're off. Uh, press it twice for the flashlight. That's 50%. Press it again. <laughs> no. Flashlight. No. This is fun. A little more. Okay, flashlight. Then long press on off. And we have a red light, which is good for uh, map reading and such at night. All right. So it's a flashlight and a lantern. Big whoop, right? Let's take it apart. Print it on top. Made in China, where they make everything, including more Chinese. Here we have the charging port. And the battery indicator. As you can see. Oh, it didn't say that the red light flashes. That's interesting. Unscrew the top. Okay. That's what's magnetic. Interesting. Okay, so we've got this metal plate here. And then we've got one battery contact here. And then this contact here. And it's powered by a single 18650. And you can see that's marked with a minus sign so we know which direction to put the battery in. And this is labeled 2600 milliamps, and I tend to believe it is 2600 milliamps, as opposed to the UltraFire labeled at 9800, which weighs nothing. This is significantly heavier. A couple of screws here. No, four. That's like a couple times two, or a couple squared, right? Oh, just dropped it right down the gullet. So graduation is next week. Then there's a couple weeks off. And begin summer session number one, which lasts for a couple weeks. And then I retire completely. As far as my doctor knows. But it's been fun. I'll miss it, but I have you guys, so that's cool. All right, so what does that remove? <laughs> I 
nothing but this plastic cover, which reveals a circuit board. All right, here we have one battery contact. Here is our charge jack, power switch. Appears to be just some resistors and capacitors here. Let me remove this board. I'll be right back. Okay, so the board is out. And we can see the bottom side of it here. There are our four LEDs indicating our charge status. Wires going down to the LEDs. There is a uh, about a 16 pin chip with the numbers completely obliterated so that we can have absolutely no idea what's going on in there. A couple more screws. Get out and we'll see if we can get into where the LEDs are hiding. Looks like winter is finally over here in the Pittsburgh area. It was 70 some degrees yesterday. It's supposed to be up around 80 today. It's nice because frankly, I've had enough winter cold. Yesterday was really nice. Today though, I think it's supposed to rain and storm. Which is great because my basement actually needs more water. It was starting to dry out and yeah, you know, God, we don't want that. Man. There we go. Come on out. Whew. Okay, so there's the entire construction of this thing. We've got five lights times six. That's that's 30 LEDs. That's very nice. And this looks like a one watt LED down here. And the linking wires for the flashlight LED. Very solid. I mean, those are about 18 gauge. And there's our two red LEDs. Nice construction in this. I like it. Yeah. Very nice. That was a lot of screws to put back together. 16 screws total. But I tell you, it is a, it's a well-constructed little lamp. I like it. And uh, according to the instructions here, at 5% brightness, you can get 52 hours out of it. 100%, you'll get 2.7 hours. Flashlight at 50%, 13 hours. 100%, 4.3. And red lights, 37 hours. And it is IPX5 waterproof. Now, I did not notice any O-rings or gaskets. So let's just call it water resistant. And again, at around $8, I think it's a good buy. The battery alone is worth eight bucks. I'll put a link to it. Now, you know what? I'll add it to my Amazon store. I like it. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, sh <laughs> share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.